On Wednesday evening, male students of Mandela Senior Secondary School in Hoima City started a protest. They vandalized buildings, breaking windows, and a perimeter wall. The students claimed that the administrators confiscated their mobile phones and do not want them to interact with the girls in the same school. When we pay the million, we don't see where the million goes. It has been brought about by the poor conditions of the school and the single, single step they brought about. We want to know the basis of this, but the whole desire is that we want the girls to study with them and sleep with them, uh, which we had decided to, uh, to change. We have grievances. When you look at the extent of the damage, because somebody has pulled down the wall of fence, which makes him secure within the confines of the school, but decides to put it down, it means he has a what? A grievance. Police in Hoima brought the situation under control. No students were injured. The teachers confiscated the mobile phones that they were using while listening to radio. So the students turned the uh, wild and uh, started striking. So it is from that background that uh, uh, these students set uh, a place to one of the stores in the school. The administrators say they can only return upon a confirmation that they have paid for damages caused. We thought we would uh, keep them, especially the candidate classes, but we have found ourselves uh, in a situation that we, that we cannot continue, we cannot keep anybody because of uh, uh, toilets, dysfunctional toilets that require repair. So that uh, these students should go home immediately. The candidate kind of classes we are going to juggle through and see how they will end this term. But they should come back with the parents and ready to compensate for damaged uh, property. Police are helping the administrators with investigations. <laughs>